Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Imperial and Galactic Survival Let's Play. This is episode 17, and uh, we have made everything we need for the hover vessel. Uh, but we're going to actually start on our farm before we build the hover vessel. I'm, I'm hoping to get both done today. I'm, I'm thinking we can, and um, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, last video, I made the case that the turning the the fuel packs into uh, hydrogen fuel packs is 300% more efficient. Um, I made that video early in the morning today, guys. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. It's 50% more efficient. Still nice efficiency, just not the crazy efficiency I was thinking. All right, so we're just going to make a little hole right here for now just to get into the uh, next room. And this is going to be where we're going to have... We're going to actually have a little area where we can go down below. Um, underground. I don't know why, just because it could be pretty cool. Um, so let's just, uh, let's cover it up for now, but I, I will have something where you can go underground at some point. Alright. Then we are going to get our, I, I've also been working making, um, I've been working making these bad boys right here. Growing plots. Uh, basically, what you need for the growing plots is you need... First of all, I don't know why this stuff isn't stacking. But what you need for the growing plots is... What I didn't have was rock dust, so I went ahead and got some rock dust. Uh, you know, it's just some rocks, but you gotta kind of dig underground a little bit for it. That's what I was doing below the base. Uh, although I didn't find any rock dust below the base, I found it somewhere else. Uh, so we're just gonna get this thing on the road. This uh, this farm thing needs to be started. We should have started this a while ago, but, um, you know, get distracted. And I'm not going to build this in any interesting way. I'm just going to kind of throw it together just to get it going. So we'll build it right here. Here, 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 here. Let's get up there. Yes, okay. Here, here, and here. All right, so this does need to be surrounded by blocks so we can make some nice walls around it. That is fine. Let's get up here. Uh, this needs to be a wall. For now, we could just do this. It's, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll work on making things look better later. Right now, I'm just trying to make them functional. Um, with, with the amount of update, like, restarting I've had to do in this game, like, I'm not really that concerned about it. I mean, who knows? I, uh, next week, I could, I might have to restart the world with the way this game's been going. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, I made work lights and put them all around my building. Actually, I don't think they're work lights. Actually, I think they are work lights. Well, whatever. Um, I you, I spent my experience points on them, got them, and um, I love them. They're freaking awesome. All right, so we're going to go like this. There we go. And we've got our little plot here, so we'll go like... Uh, yeah, we could do this. Let's just do this. It's going to be very minimalistic. I probably should put in some... Yeah, I, here's the thing. I want to. I was thinking about. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so here's the thing. I was thinking about putting in glass, you know, like windows for this. But then I was thinking, if if something attacks, you know, it's just going to be easier for them to break through the glass. So, you know, from a from a protection standpoint, I shouldn't mess with glass. Um, glass takes silicon. We don't have a lot of silicon either. We got enough though. Um, so I shouldn't mess with glass. But you know what? I want stuff to look good. And no, it probably isn't the best way to build stuff, but I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know any other way of saying it. I want stuff to look good. So, we'll make some glass. Uh, we're missing metal plates. Okay. Let's cancel that. Let's go ahead and make some metal plates. Okay, while I'm uh, actually building the room around it, we should get these crops going as soon as possible. Um, it only makes sense. So, you want to put the growing light right in the middle. The growing light will do a 3x3 three three circumference around it. Obviously, put it on the roof right there. And there you go. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to come on in here and we are going to grab the um, plants we're going to want to we're gonna want to work with. Um, I have four uh, cave fruit. That's basically coffee. Uh, Duran, we want. Uh, pumpkin, we want. And not corn. There was something else. We should probably do this a, a core fruit too. Uh, but there was there was another one. Oh yeah, here we go. Tomato. All right. I don't really know how much I'm really gonna need the coffee to be honest. Uh, I don't know because once I get a hover vessel, I'm not really gonna need the coffee that much. But who knows? I might need it. So we'll we'll plant some. All right. So let's plant the ones we know we're gonna need a lot of first. That means pumpkin, drain. Durain, right? That's, I think that's how you say it. Uh, tomato. 
These are going to be for food. And then we're going to want kave and two kave and one ak akura. Akira? Probably. Eight. Okay. Oh, I never thought of growing stuff on the on the ceiling before. That'd be pretty funny. Anyway, um, I'm leaving these three open because when these three get grown, I'm gonna turn them into another set because that's the stuff I'm gonna use for food. Um, Akura is just basically, I don't know why I'm planting that, just for the fun. And uh, coffee will be for coffee, so I can run around a lot uh, when I get out in the when I get out in the world and start. I'm gonna have to find some promethium like very soon. Okay, so now that we got all that stuff planted, we want to... No, we don't need to put that away. Let's put this away. Okay, so we need to get the glass. We got a bunch of glass. Okay, we got some window frames in here. And we will put these right here. 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 You can't put them in the corners. I'm trying to think of a cool way I could do this. That could be cool. Do I have slope blocks on me? I do not. Let's get some slope blocks. I don't know. Like that? Sure, why not? Uh, then we need to bring back the glass. Okay. Number six. Okay, there. There 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 and there eh, works for me all right so let's get this bad boy in there oops okay and that will be the farm all right so i'm trying to think if i want to make the glass too high I probably could. I could make the glass too high, but... Yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? Well, because we don't have a... Oops. Because... Well, the reason why not is because we don't have a lot of uh, silicon. Um, but we do have enough silicon. So we will do that. Alright, let's go ahead and... Make another ten of those and continue building. We gotta get this place enclosed, so if we get attacked again, we can't just shoot in here. Okay, we're just about finishing up here. So put this bad boy right here. There we go. And this one right here. And that is it. Let's go take a look. We'll take a look from the outside, from the inside. I know it's not going to look great from the outside, but you know we'll, we'll make it look better later on. We definitely want it uh, going to. It doesn't look too bad from the outside. We'll put some some kind of structure underneath it to make it look like it shouldn't. You know be floating there but uh yeah overall i think it looks okay i think it looks okay we're gonna be building add-ons to this base um in modules just like that from now on and let's take a look from the inside yeah the inside looks really neat i like it i look at a lot looking good looking good all right we do need to move this i'm gonna get sick of having to jump up through this all right let's go ahead and make the uh, the hover vessel and like i said the hover vessel is going to be completely and 100 percent um functional not i don't care what it looks like i don't care about anything i just want it to get me from point a to point b and if it gets destroyed so be it i fully expect it to get destroyed um i don't feel like they give you the proper tools to defend your well they do but at level 10 um and even then i, I i'll make a bigger one later <clears throat> okay so we'll put this uh, we want that in the front so we'll put this put this in the back number seven do like this and like this and like this that should be good enough put this towards the back should be pretty nice then we need to put a little bit of a thing on the back to put all the stuff we're gonna need on it and what are we gonna need on it well we're gonna need a few things guys we're going to need this and this, first of all. Um, now, I am eventually going to make a tank 
version of this and it's gonna be a beast it's gonna be a beast um you know what? let's put this in the back It'll be a little bit harder to get destroyed from the back a little bit harder not a lot harder but a little bit harder well you know could could save us and then this can be right behind this thing right like that yes that's very good rcs unit I uh, kind of want this protected as well, but uh, we could put it right there. Yeah, we could protect it. Yeah, just put it right there. I don't care. All right. So, and that's it. Now we need um, we need one on the back, pointing backwards for forward momentum. There we go. It's pretty good. And then we need ones pointing left and right for you know, side to side momentum. I don't know what they call that, but uh, seven. We could put that right here. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Fully functional. And then let's cover stuff up as best we can. See, this is going to be covered up from the side even. Oh, crap, drones. All right, well, they, they'll be, they won't be here for a while. This fuel thing is not going to be covered. We can't cover it up from... Well, okay, this is what we can do. We can make it a little wider. Like this. And then protect. Well, we can't protect that. We could actually leave that... Um, You can leave your thrusters covered up. Uh, thrusters do not have to have... Like, a clear line of thrust. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, thrusters can be covered up and still be functional. I don't choose to do it. I think it's a little... It's kind of cheap, and I think it should be fixed. But, uh, yeah, so, alright, so that can go right there. Uh, yeah, so we could do this. And this, and this. What does the other side look like? Yeah, yeah, okay, one more, one more. Ugh. Maybe we should get this thing off the freaking ground. Let's do that. And on those four fuel packs, this thing will, like run for 200 minutes. Of course, it's not doing anything, but it'll still run. All right, I noticed one thing I missed. I didn't put a forward momentum thruster. That's okay. We could do it now. Uh, so how do I want this to work? Let's put... Um, let's just put it right here for now, I guess. I don't like it there. I don't want anything shooting near the core. I guess we could just put it right here. It works. Okay. Now we'll just bring this all the way up. And then we will get out. And, um, yeah, I mean, it should work okay. It should work okay. This goes right here. That goes right there. Somewhere protected, kind of, um, you know, relatively. We can make it even more protected if we need to. Let's turn it off. Let's put some stuff on top. It's gonna make it's gonna make it a little bit heavier, but I kind of want it protected. And yeah, this thing's a quick shit. I don't really care. Um, <laughs> I work really hard to make vehicles in past ep in past seasons, and then like they update the game and I lose them anyway. So, and I'm not mad about that. I'm not complaining. It's just the way the game is. This game is gonna be updated quite a bit, and we just have to learn to live with it. You know, it looks like crap, but it should be it should be pretty decent. All right, let's wait for these uh, drones to come in, and then we're gonna go look for Promethium and Silicon. Come on, drones, damn. Oh, are they coming in? Oh, that one's down. Just one? Oh, there's another one. I should probably get the experience for this one. Oh, or not. All right, you guys have seen me gather stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gather this stuff off camera, and then what we will do is, we will go looking for Prometheum. Okay, here we are. Let's, uh, let's actually ha head down to the H2O2 generator <clears throat> and see what we got down there. This thing should handle okay for what it is. I don't really need a lot from it, you know? 
so let's see what we got here. All right. What do you got for me, brother? All right, eight and seven, pretty cool. Fill it back up. How we doing on water? Water's fine. We're gonna take these back. Whoa, there we go. And we're gonna put them in here and we're gonna craft the hydrogen stuff with them. There we go. Okay, now we'll take these two. That should be enough for a trip. Although, I don't know, probably. I mean, we're not using a lot of fuel with this thing. That's for damn sure. There's no way this thing's using a lot of fuel. And if I do, if I have to, I can always use regular fuel packs. All right, so where do we want to head? Honestly, it doesn't really matter. We should stay on the water and avoid points of interest, basically. That's the idea. Oh, get out of the water. Okay. All right, so we're looking for silicon or um, promethium. Either one will be fine by me. Although, if I had to choose, I'd probably pick promethium. Now, if it's guarded by a point of interest, I could be in a little bit of trouble. Um, someone told me you could take out the guns in the point of interest with a sniper rifle. So, if I see a point of interest, I'll probably try that. Uh, although, do I have magnesium by me? I don't think I have any magnesium by me. Magnesium would be another big find if I could get some magnesium. Oh, there we go, Promethium. Very cool, very cool. We do a lot of mining in between videos. Um, I might even not mine now at all. I might just explore. Probably, probably a good idea. Yeah, going on land is going to be a bit of an issue for me. All right, so we got some Promethium right here. So let's continue looking around. We'll just, uh, like I said, we'll steer clear of the point of interest until we get our sniper rifle or uh, the rocket launcher would be even probably better. Um, what I really like is the, gosh darn, uh, <laughs> what I really want is the, um, the, the, the laser rifle, but they buried that thing, man. That thing's like level 15 or 20. They buried it. Smart, and rightly so, man. It's really, really good weapon. All right, there's a point of interest out there to the right. We are going to avoid that. We'll, we'll start hitting points of interest, guys. I just, uh, I need to save up some ammo until I find a Promethium deposit. I mean, a Magnesium deposit, which I just found. Um, there is not much I could do about it. And there's Magnesium. I'll probably just get a bunch of Magnesium and then hit the Promethium on the way back. That's good. Silicon. We still need Silicon. We have not found any Silicon yet. Oh, drone to the right. We should probably take that out before we do anything, but I don't know, it looks like it's pretty far. I can't even see it anymore. Yeah. We gotta be very careful with this. This is See, we should have came out here with coffee. That's what we should have done. So that way if our thing gets blown up we can still run back home. If we have to run back home now, it's gonna suck. Yeah. I think this will be the last time I go anywhere without coffee. Whoops, what are you doing? Seriously? There we go. Plenty of charges. Uh, um, debating what I want to do here. I, I would do a, a mine lapse, but... You know what, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's turn this down. There we go. Some people have been commenting recently that I do not do enough farming on camera. Which I thought was really interesting. And uh, they brought up... Uh, they brought up Partially Royal as an example, and, and um, you know, I don't watch a lot of Royal stuff because, like, I don't have time to watch a lot of other YouTubers in general. But, um, I always thought that Royal just kind of, like, did everything off camera, but apparently he doesn't. Some people are saying that one thing they love about the way Partially... And Partially Royal is an extremely successful YouTuber, so I could definitely learn some things from the way he does things. And some people are saying, well, you know, when, when Royal, like, grinds, he just talks about what's going on in his life in YouTube channel or whatever. He talks about whatever. And I think that's a good idea. I think that could really help you bond with a YouTuber. I used to do it a lot. Um, but I think you can do it too much. But I don't think I do it enough anymore. So, what's going on with me? Well, I'm going to be streaming tonight. Um, well, this is Monday. So, geez, I'm recording this on Saturday. This is from Monday. So, let's say it's Monday. Oh, uh, Fallout... Okay, this is going up Monday. Fallout 3 tomorrow, guys. Or Fallout 4. Huh? How psyched are you guys? And, uh, 
I will be doing Fallout 4 videos. I will be streaming Fallout 4. I took two days off of work. Told my boss straight up that it's for a video game. My boss is pretty chill. But uh, he also knows I make money off this, so like it's it's kind of like taking off of work, but I'm still gonna, gonna kind of be at work. By the way, if I all of a sudden get quiet, don't be alarmed. It's just because I'm, I'm listening for gunfire. And we should probably keep an easy way out of here at all times. So if we need to get out of here quickly to go defend our hover vessel, we can. There we go. That should be pretty good. I do not see anything anywhere. They should give us a, okay, here we go, guys. I, I don't, I'm pretty sure the devs don't watch my videos. I make a lot of videos. Not that the devs don't like my videos, but like, you know, they're, they're busy making a game. They can't be watching my videos all day. But if anyone, if they are watching my videos, guys, how about this? Okay. One of the main problems with this game is drones keep sneaking up on our, on our, on our hover vessels and our, and you know, our other equipment and stuff. How about this? Get, put an item in the game that you, you can craft, you know, lock it behind a level um, or whatever you got to do. And, but put an item in the game, something called, like, radar. How about that? I mean, we have a mini-map. Why, why do we not have radar? Like, like we could put it in our ship and maybe connect it via headset or something. Maybe a, a helmet, you know? Because, like, there's all kinds of slots here connected with a helmet slot or something. And then that way we could just look on the radar and I can see if there's any drones in the area. So, I mean... It's not so much that the drones are badass, it's just they blow up my ship before I can get up there and help, you know? So, uh, how about that? That would be pretty cool. Radar. And, you know, these these things are probably... These are probably things you're planning anyway. I feel kind of stupid saying something so obvious. But just in case you're not, you can go ahead and use that, please. I would I would really be... I would really love to see something like that in-game. How close am I? Level 10. Yeah. Getting there. Getting there. Anyway, Fallout, Fallout 4, guys. Like I said, this video is going to be going up Monday. So, Fallout 4, tomorrow. Well, actually, tonight at midnight. Um, actually, as you're watching this, I am probably going to sleep. I think this will go up around early afternoon on Monday. In which case, I will be going to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep, and then I'm going to wake up around 10 or so. And I'm going to get ready. I'm going to make mad videos on Fallout. Uh, when I'm done making videos, I'm going to stream. Um... I'm going to be playing a lot of Fallout, and I'm, I'm actually trying to get ahead on my videos right now. So when Fallout does come out, it doesn't hit me too hard because, you know, I've got, I don't, I'm not going to, like, not do any other videos. Um, Ark is probably going to be the one to suffer. Uh, I love Ark, guys. I love Ark. Love it, love it, love it. But, man, nobody watches it. I put up a video, I put up a video of Ark, like, four, four days ago, and it just hit a thousand views. That's horrendous. That is literally 100% not worth my time because, um, because, you know, it's just, it's not, a, it's not expanding my channel and it's, it doesn't seem like it's even making, it doesn't even seem like the people who are subscribed to me really want to see it that much. Why am I still playing Ark? Because I love it. Um, if I didn't, if I didn't care about it either way, I would just drop it, but I do like it. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the Paul Suresh Jr. route of, uh, one Ark video a week and, uh, maybe I'll do a lot of it, uh, maybe I'll do a lot of grinding in between, so... I could, like, make more progression in between those videos, but, um, you know, I just, I'm a big believer in democracy, and the fact that those videos are getting so little views is showing me that people on my channel do not really care about watching me play ARK. I kind of feel like, I should probably go up there and check out what's going on. I kind of feel like the people who watch ARK want to see Endgame, um, and that's just not the way I play. Uh, I mean, I do like Endgame, I get to Endgame. I do Endgame in Seven Days to Die, I've been doing it forever, but... I like to, you know, not take my time, but yeah, maybe kind of take my time. I, I don't rush to it. I get there when I get there, and I have fun doing it. Um, Ark is kind of gross right now, the way it works on YouTube. Uh, you know, they could... Oh, hold on. Is that a drone? Yeah, it's a drone, but it looks like it's pretty far. Let's see if we can see how far it is. Oh, God, it's really far. I think it went behind the mountain, or maybe I'm seeing things. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, um, ARK kind of grosses me out the way it works on YouTube right now. Because, like, what they'll do is... ARK, Ark is, like, getting in a, in a thing where they just add the newest, hottest new dinosaur. Like, every other week. Uh, the new hottest dinosaur. This guy is really tough. You thought T-Rex was tough. Well, we're introducing this guy. And then the next couple weeks later, you thought that guy was tough. We're going to introduce this guy. And it's just... It just seems a little bit... Eh. And the dinosaurs they're introducing are interesting. The, tame, the way they tame them... Uh, the little things they do. Um, they're interesting dinosaurs. That's not what 
grosses me out. What grosses me out is that YouTubers like are in such a hurry to capture it, to be the first one to tame it, the first one to put it up on YouTube. That you know, the second those updates hit, I've got like four or five videos I could all I could look at where everyone tames them right away. Oh, you could breed dinosaurs. Five minutes after breeding dinosaurs went up, I saw three videos uh, telling you exactly how to do it and saying, "I just breeded a level 200 T Rex that's godly." And, and like, I don't know. I, I guess that's cool. Like people want like people are impatient. I guess they want to see that stuff right away. And that's not the way I do things. Um, and I don't like it. I don't watch people who do that. Uh, I'm old, you know. I mean, let's face it. You know, you, a lot of these people on YouTube are probably kids, and um, you know, kids are a little impatient. Uh, I was when I was a kid. But, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit more patient with that stuff now. I kind of, you know, smell the roses. And uh, that's not the way I play things. And, like, the fact that, like, they come out with these new uber dinosaurs and, like, five minutes after the patch goes live, someone already caught four of them and has a level 200. It's just like, okay, well, then what's the point? You know, if it's if it's that quick, what are we doing? Like, what is the point? That's just kind of the way I feel. And I think that's why people don't watch my ARC videos. Um, no, I'm not saying I'm wrong. I'm not saying I'm right. I just... Well, I'm obviously wrong because I'm trying to make videos that people want to watch and I'm not. So maybe I am wrong in a way, but um, I just kind of like the way I do things. And um, uh, Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so this, this talking about stuff while I'm mining is pretty cool. I think I'm going to be doing more of it. You guys let me know in the comments. Would you rather see mind lapses? Would you rather hear about what's going on in my life? What I'm thinking about with YouTube, real life things, uh, you know, whatever I'm thinking about at the moment. Uh, or would you rather me just cut the mining out completely and come back and say, okay, I just mined everything. You let me, you guys let me know in the comments. Uh, it's, I'm actually pretty interested to see what you think. Anyway, uh, I wasn't even, see, this is pretty cool. I wasn't even paying attention. I got 260 magnesium ore. That's awesome. I'm going to call the video here though. I am going to hit the Promethean ore on the way back. And, uh, next video, I don't know what we're going to do next video, guys. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a surprise to both of us. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for episode 17. We'll see you next time for episode 18. Till then, take it easy.